everyone. This is PHTV in Palis Heights. I'm Sue Jankowski and we are here at the library. This is channel four. We bring you at the library once a month so you know what is going on at the library. It's always important to know what's going on at the library, but especially right now when we have um, just kind of all different circumstances. I think and I hope you've been pleased at all the available opportunities we've had lately at the library all kinds of virtual programs, all kinds of pickup services, curbside services, and so forth. We'll talk about those today. We'll talk about um, other things upcoming for the month of September. And, uh, you know, things are still popping at the library. We're here with our good friend, Janine, who is head of public services. Hi, Janine. Hi, Sue. Good to, have good to, you. Good to see you again. Good to see you too. And we have Lauren, who is here from Youth and Teen Services. Hi, Lauren. Hi. It's going to, uh, she's going to fill us in uh, about all kinds of things for the youth and teen. And uh, it's really important right now for them too, with school starting again. Um, and everyone has some special circumstances for the most part for school. Even if you're attending school, it's going to look a little bit different than it did before. If you're not attending school in the traditional manner, um, I know that you'll be looking for maybe some help and resources. And we'll talk about some of that. Uh, to today. So um, as you see, we're still uh, physically distancing. We're still doing the Zoom uh, here at the library. So we're all just kind of getting together the same way we've been doing for the last couple months. And we're, uh, we get to see each other this way, but I gotta say, I miss you guys. I miss mm -hmm. actually being together. And um, I can't wait till we can all be together again. Yeah. Uh, that's really great. Same here too. We, we, we can't wait to, but in the meantime, we make do with what we, we can, and um, that's what this month of program looks like looks like as well. Great. Well, Jenny, you want to fill us in what's uh, what's going on at, in the um, public services in the adult area? Sure. We got we've got September. We are kicking into high gear. Um, it starts off with um, September is National Library Card Sign Up Month. For those of you who didn't know that. Um, so this month, during September, if you come into the Palos Heights Library to get a new Palos Heights Library card, you'll be registered to, uh, for a chance to win a prize. So that's always fun. Um, always pushing that to get your card. The card does so many things. It's not just for checking out books. You have access to our digital collections, our um, e-books, e-audio books, our muse, digital music, our digital magazines, and all of our online resources. So that's what's really important right now, especially since everybody's at home, learning from home, or even working from home. Our online resources um, for, for consumer reports or for the kids, uh, Worldbook and Tutor.com. Uh, there's so many um, online resources that we have for everybody that are accessible with your library card. So that's why it's very important to uh, get a, a, get your card and get it up to date if you have one. Absolutely. You know, uh, Janine, just talking to people who are, you know, avid readers or magazine or, you know, movie watchers or whatever, I've reminded them that they, they have a lot of opportunities through the library to get all of those things, you know, and that's, they don't have to pay for them. And uh, there's lots available. So I'm hoping more and more people are taking advantage and this has been a good learning curve for everybody that they can, you know, use the library in a way that was different how they used it before. Absolutely. I mean, even in, even like our Mango languages, I love this this service that we have, this this resource. It's free with your library card. You can learn over 60 languages, I think the last time I counted. They have videos, movies in, in foreign languages that you can watch, which is a great way of learning a new language. For people, uh, we're not traveling right now. Our main our traveling is very limited, but you can do your armchair travel, get your language skills into place before you decide and are able to go someplace else. So, you know, if you might have some free time, you've always wanted to learn, you know, German or Scandinavia, Norwegian, whatever, you know, you can do so. And, and it's a great resource. So that's just one of them, you know, so yeah. That's tremendous. And that way you'll be ready for that great trip that you're going to take, you know, in the right. hopefully near future. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, so that we got that, and our and onto our programs. We have um, our first one starts off investment fraud prevention. Again, these are all virtual fro programs, folks. You're going to be um, registering on the library's website at phlibrary.org, and then you're going to go to the event uh, calendar, and then you're going to register for these programs, and you'll get a link to attend the, 
program, okay? And we're going to have Terry Paggi on Wednesday, September 9th at 6.30. He is from the Chicago office of the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, and he's going to talk about the risks and rewards of various types of investments, how to research investment professionals, and the red flags of investment fraud, which are always good to know. So. Mm -hmm. He'll be he'll be there with all kinds of information, and he'll be able to answer some questions too. Very good. All right. Oh, I love this program. Our next one is digging deeper: the foundations of Chicago architecture, scheduled for Thursday, September tenth at six thirty. We have award-winning uh, author Dave Clark will be here to talk about the the buildings of Chicago. Um, the, the early Chicago school had to innovate to create and invent tall commercial buildings. And he's going to share those amazing stories of buildings old and new and the giants of design and the engineers who build them. And you know, Sue, when we look at this slide, you see that skyscrapers, a familiar Chicago skyline, and you think, oh, you know, big city skyscrapers, that's just part of the deal. But to consider what they had to go through back then, you know, the history of Chicago, it was it was a mess. The land that Chicago was actually formed on was just it's a mar it was a marsh, very low land, and even in the 1850s there was like 4,000 people in Chicago, and there they had no sewers. They had to raise the ground to even build sewers. So, so that is just one challenge. So when you got to, when you got people thinking of building a, a multi-story building. They had some many challenges to deal with, and and Dave Clark does a really great way of showing you a little bit of the history of what things looked like in building, and then how these um, you know iconoclastic buildings that we come to know came to be. That is fascinating. I just want to point out to people too that um, don't be afraid of going on a virtual program. I mean, you just listen. You don't have to speak if you don't want to. You don't have to be seen if you don't want to. Um, it's just you listening to someone who's got some really great information, great pictures. Sometimes there's little videos. It's really, really interesting. And you're sitting in the comfort of your home. So don't be afraid to try it. It's easy. Right. right. It's a great point. Yeah. So join us on Thursday, September 10th for that. Our next program is our, our computer class, uh, Internet Basics, Monday, September 14th at 6.30. So you're going to learn the basic internet terminology, how to navigate on your browser, locate a website, identify common domains, and stay safe while you're searching on the internet. So make sure you register for this class, like we told mm -hmm. you, like we mentioned, and you'll get a link for it. So that's Always good. Up. Yeah. Good. Next wing of Artists of the Harlem Renaissance. I love this program. It's Tuesday, September 15th at 6.30. We're going to have art historian Jeff Musher. He's going to talk about the various artists that were associated with the, the time period between the two world wars where African-American artists produced a diverse and extraordinary output of paintings and sculptures and photography. And that, all of them often telling the story of the important events of their history. So he'll go into that and talk about the various artists that are associated with that, including Aaron Douglas, Augusta Savage, Archibald Motley Jr., James Van Der Zee, and Jacob Lawrence. Okay, very, very interesting. Yeah, Tuesday, September 15th. And then, yeah, thanks, Catherine. And then Wednesday, September 16th, Matt is back with his virtual sci-fi fantasy discussion group. It used to be just a book discussion, but now Matt has opened it up to uh, all things sci-fi and fantasy, books, movies, and TVs. There's so many uh, great TV shows out right now and, and, and movies with sci-fi. So all you sci-fi fans can come uh, join us on our, the Zoom link that we'll send out to you to discuss all things sci-fi. Okay, fun. Yeah. And then we have um, Remembering Marshall Fields starting on Monday, September 21st at 6.30. We're going to have Leslie Goddard. Um, she's going to join us from her live presentation, uh, Zoom presentation and tell us about the 150 years that Marshall Field and Company reigned as Chicago's leading department store. Um, she'll talk, she wrote a book about it as well, but she's going to talk about how this, the, the store's history from 1852 to the end in 2006. She'll have photos, ads, postcards, all kinds of memorabilia. She'll trace the store's uh, cherished traditions like the walnut room and the legendary window displays and of course, Frangle Mints. So that's coming Monday, September 21st for all those who want to take it down a walk down memory lane. 
join us at 6.30 for Remembering think, the Fields. You know, a lot of people would enjoy that program since everybody kind of went through some kind of withdrawal when Marshall Field closed its doors. <laughs> right. And it turned into Macy's. And, you know, people really, really were hurt by that. So this is a nice way to review those, yeah. those good days. You know, and everything has changed so much in shopping, even just now. And, you know, to and then to talk about a store that was that was also an iconoclastic um, store and and building still in this in the city. It's still a beautiful building. Yeah. Then we have um, the music of John Lennon, the solo years from 1970 to 1980. Uh, that's going to be Wednesday, September 23rd at 6:30. This is from our our mu music enthusiast Gary Wenstrup. He's done some wonderful programs for us over the past year and a half. Uh, he's going to honor John Lennon's 80th birthday this year. Um, he's going to look at the fascinating period of highs and lows for John Lennon's solo career. Um, using the performance and interview clips. He's got always has some incredible clips. I don't know where he gets them from, but they're so informative and they're such, they bring back such great memories as well. So, um, so he'll have those clips from the Beatles breakup from 1970 till his tragic murder in 1980. And of course, we'll talk about his, the, his probably his biggest song of that period was Imagine. Yeah, right, definitely. Yeah. And next we have, if statues could talk, what stories would they tell? That's coming Thursday, September 24th at 6.30. And this is a project from, um, Beth Sayre will be here, from the Statue Stories of Chicago. Uh, it's a big uh, organization going on downtown, project going on downtown, and she'll show the different statues around the city of Chicago and give voice to their stories narrated by famous Chicago celebrities, actors, and writers. So we're going to have some names of people. You'll recognize some of their voices. Um, you'll have to guess at some of them, but it's great. And so not only will you get to see that part of it or hear that part, but you're going to learn about the background to some of the statues you might pass by all the time in Chicago or when you go through your trips, you want to know how did they, what is the story behind that statue and when we're going to find out on that day. Well, you definitely do wonder as you go through the city, you think, well, now, why is that there? Who is it? Why did they choose that? And so on. So that yeah. will be fascinating. Yeah. And then next we have, oh, the, the Palos Heights Fan Con um, coming up Saturday, September 26th. This is the second annual Fan Con event. It's an all-day event starting from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And this year it is all virtual. So you can join us for all things pop culture. If you're fans of Star Wars, Harry Potter, uh, you name it, um, you're going to have... Uh, all these fun, tremendous events for you. You have um, you can check out a craft to do at home, test your knowledge on some trivia, sit down for a story time with children's authors and illustrator Tom Lickenheld, and learn how to speak Klingon with Klingon Pop Warriors, and learn <laughs> some new dance moves with a demonstration by the Bollywood Groove. I'd love to see that. You know, I just want to know if uh, Klingon is on the Mango uh, app. <laughs> no, but their pirate is. You're learning to speak pirate is on the Mango okay. app. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> They'll have to work on that Klingon. But, um, so, yeah, that's an all virtual event as well. So, again, folks, you need to sign up on our website, um, register for that to get the links for that. Okay? Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Yeah, and then learning to Zoom. Matt's back with his class again on Monday, September 28th at 2 p.m a Zoom class on how to use Zoom. And we will talk, he'll talk about the different features available, takes turns practicing on how to use it. And the learning begins even when you just register for the program, because you're gonna get a link for Zoom. So uh, it's a great program, very important now that everything is going online like this. Yes, absolutely right. Right. And then we have a, a special program, Molly's War on Tuesday, September 29th at 6.30 p.m. Uh, Molly, author Cindy Schaefer will be here and she's gonna talk about the women, including her mother, who served in the Women's Air Army Corps, the WACs, in World War II. Uh, and this event is being co-produced by the Illinois Humanities Road Scholars Speakers Bureau. So we're, we're really happy to be part of that and, and participating in that as well. So um, Cindy Schaefer is going to talk about um, Molly, her mother, and the other women uh, in the Women's Army Corps. Fascinating topic. Yeah. I, I did uh, go to uh, a little um, lecture where the husband, I believe, of Molly came and spoke, and that was at the library. It was really, really interesting. Oh, cool. Very yeah. nice. Yeah. 
And then, yeah, and then we're going to end our month with a very special program, uh, Immigration Stories, um, on Wednesday, September 30th at 7 p.m. We're going to have, we are so proud and to present a producer, writer, and three-time Grand Chicago Grand Slam champion storyteller, Nestor Gomez. He will be here with his show featuring an, an evening of storytellers, writers, and comedians sharing their immigration experience. Um, he talked about, I've met him, we've had him at a, a program previously. He was, he's fantastic. You know, storytellers, a good storyteller can keep you really caught up and enraptured in what they're saying. And he talked about how he found that by telling a story, people can relate to each other. We all have our own stories. We all have our backgrounds. And, and when you find out, when you listen to people and you listen to a story, you learn for different ways to connect. And this is really what this event is about. So we're really excited to bring Nestor and his um, two evening, an hour, an even, two hours of full of storytellers and entertainers tonight on that evening. And it is a, a, a virtual event, and we will be doing this all on Zoom. So we're looking forward to Wednesday. Sign up for that. We'll look forward to, to having that. And that really is a really special event that we've uh, been talking about or getting prepared for for quite a long time. And uh, I think everyone's pretty excited about this. So I'm hoping that everyone realizes what an awesome thing a great storyteller is and how involved you will get in that and that you register for it because I think it's going to be really special. Yeah, you're right. Um, all the, you know, we've through interactions and support through the Trinity Co Christian College and other organizations around the, the, um, the community. We're looking forward to, to, to sharing stories with everybody and we can all learn to connect with that. So that's our September, Sue. All right. <laughs> In a nutshell. That is an amazing September. It's going to be really, really great. You can sign up for any of those programs or all of those programs Absolutely. if they appeal to you. And uh, you, you know, you can learn something special at home. You just be, you can just be entertained in your own home with something different. You know, you get tired of watching TV or reading or whatever, listening to music. This is something that um, you know takes you to a different kind of program. It's, yeah, we need these kind of things now uh, really more than ever. So this is great. Anyway, Lauren, what's happening with those youth and teens and what is going on for them? Uh, there's so much going on. Let me share my screen really quick. Oh, somebody needs to enable my screen sharing, please. Either Catherine or Janine. <laughs> You're good. Okay. Thanks. Okay, we got that. Okay, so to start things off, we have our weekly story time starting up again in September. So we start with our Tales for Twos, which is going to be every Tuesday in September. Uh, the difference now though, is that we are not gonna do them live. We are gonna record them from home and then post them to our YouTube channel and our Facebook. So we are gonna post them right at 10, but you can watch them whenever you want. There is no time limit. They will be up there forever and they're all gonna be on playlists up on YouTube. So Tales for Twos is obviously for two-year-olds. So from 24 to 35 months. And yeah, that one's just gonna be really fun. Just a fun little weekly story time. Next we have Lip Wigglers. I'm sorry, were you gonna say something? All I was gonna say is that's a nice thing for, for uh, parents to be able to access that at any time. Absolutely. So, and actually watch it multiple times because little ones really enjoy watching the same thing, uh, you know, <laughs> over and over again. So that, that's a nice feature. Yeah. So our next one is gonna be along the same lines. It's our Little Wigglers program, which are newborns to 23 months. And that one as well is gonna be recorded and we're gonna post the videos every week. And then again, they're gonna be on a playlist on YouTube. And this one is going to be on Wednesdays starting September 2nd. And then our last story time is Kindergarten Ready. So these are for our three to five year olds. And these are gonna be posted on Thursdays starting September 4th or 3rd, not the 4th. But um, you can rewatch these anytime you want. You can even go back and forth if you think your child is too not uh, too young for Kindergarten Ready. They can go back to twos, anything. Great. So next we have our facts from the stacks. 
nonfiction story time. This is gonna be on Wednesday, September 2nd for ages three to five. We're gonna use stories and rhymes to learn true facts about a topic chosen by the librarian. So this is gonna be very similar to our other story times, except it's gonna be a focus on nonfiction rather than having our, you know, fairy tales or pitching books. It's gonna be all nonfiction. So you will, you will also learn something in these story times. Wonderful. Next up, we have window clings, which is going to be Thursday, September 3rd. This is going to be for grades kindergarten through third grade. And we are going to use our own creative mixture and we are going to make our own window clings like you see up here. I know that I like to use my window clings. I like to make some with puffy paint every year for Christmas. So this is going to be really fun to see what else we can make with them. Next, we have the Kind Kid Challenge, which is going to be every Monday beginning September 7th. So each week in September, we're gonna try to do as many acts of kindness as we can because people, people need it nowadays. They need they the sure do. They so, sure do. <laughs> so every Monday, we're gonna post three things you can do to be kind that week. And you can try to do them all. You can try to do your own thing if you have another idea, but definitely tag us in everything you post. Make sure that we see it so we can post it too and we can see what you're doing to be kind to people. Oh, how fun. Be fun to get some other ideas, you know, so that you can try out. Good. Definitely, because there's no way we can think of everything. So I'm sure mm -hmm. everybody has their own ideas. Mm -hmm. Next up, we have upcycled planters. So we are gonna use an empty soup can to create planters with just some paint. With our virtual crafts, we do, we are trying to make it so that it's things that people already have in their homes so they don't have to go out and buy something else. So this is a really good one. I know I have a million soup cans. I tend to bring soup for lunch every day at the library. So <laughs> well, you can make all kinds of planters then. That's right, I could. I'll have to watch the video. <laughs> Next up, we have our performer. We are going to have a virtual concert with Isfahan and his imaginary band. This is, I believe, going to be on Zoom, and we are going to have him playing songs for us where you can dance, you can, <laughs> you can sing along, anything you want. He's a Parents' Choice Award winner, and he's from Chicago, and it's going to be a really good time. We're really excited to have him. Next up, we have our Colors Are Fun story time for ages two to five on Monday, September 14th. So National Coloring Day is in September, and we are gonna celebrate by listening to stories all about colors and do some really fun and unique coloring all together. So that one's gonna be a really fun time. Mm -hmm. Yes, love the color. <laughs> Pet Portraits Virtual Art Show. This is going to be Tuesday, September 15th. So use any materials that you want to create a portrait of your pet. You can use crayons, you can use paper mache, you can use clay, anything you want to make your pet. And then you're going to send us a picture and share it with us and then we'll be able to see it. And we, can, we will post all the pictures on our library page and everything so everybody can see how artistic our community is with their how pet. How cute your pet is. Exactly. This I kind of want to do this one. I'll have to paint a picture of my dog. <laughs> yes. Next up, we have Quesadilla Day on Thursday, September 17th. So in honor of National Quesadilla Day, we're going to learn how to make all sorts of quesadillas. There's going to be you know, plain cheese, maybe some veggies here and there, maybe some chicken. We'll all have to see what we decide to make for our Quesadilla Day. Because those well, are funny you get to eat it too that's a good thing definitely yeah next up we have our teddy bear picnic so we're gonna have a story time on friday september 10th or 18th i keep looking at the time and reading that instead of the date so september 18th we are gonna have some stories some songs all about teddy bears and all about picnics and it's gonna be a great time maybe we'll record it outside on a blanket and have our own picnic while we're recording it Oh, fun. Next up, we have Crazy Sock Day, where we will learn how to make different designs on a pair of plain white socks, because everyone has white socks lying around. So now we're just going to jazz them up a little bit all on this video. I like how you can be do creative. You don't have to go buy the socks. You make your own fun, crazy socks. That'll be really fun. Absolutely. 
Next up, we have our bottle car challenge, where we are obviously going to make some cars out of bottles. And again, it's things that you already have lying around the house. So these are things that we're gonna recycle and we're gonna make something completely new. So with these materials, we are gonna find out how far your car can go if you use things like this. Like we got bottle caps, there's a whole bottle. It's gonna be super fun. Mm -hmm. There we go. Next up, we have our dumpling party on Friday, September 25th. It's National Dumplings Day. There's a lot of national days in September. We're celebrating them all. So we are gonna listen to some stories about dumplings and then we're even gonna learn how to make some. So that will be super fun. I don't know how to make dumplings. I'll have to watch this video to learn how. <laughs> exactly, well, this is great because you know we all are cooking more so we can make some fun things and get your children in that kitchen cooking for a change. That's right. And then as Janine stated before, we have our fan con. So this is all gonna be on Zoom. So you do have to register for this. And we are adding one more thing to it. We are using the same program that we used for summer reading. We are gonna use Beanstack. And that's how we are gonna do drawings for some prizes for FanCon. We are going to have everybody, if you go to any of the events, you can get a badge on Beanstack and you can put that badge and the ticket you get into a raffle and you could win so many prizes. There's gonna be some really cool stuff that you could win. Oh, that sounds like a good thing. And last but not least, we have our DIY journals. So you can turn a cereal box into this really cool journal. So if you need something to write in, or you just want something creative for school, this is definitely something you should go to. Okay, and that's what we got for us in September. And also we do also have um, databases and things for teachers and students and parents. We have tutor.com to use. We have tumble books to use. It's all on our library page. And there's also a page on there, on our library page, there's a link to ask a librarian. So if you have any questions about anything, like the databases, or if you want a specific book or something from the library, definitely just use that resource and let us know and we will try to help you out as best we can. Okay, that's great to know. And I, I you know, encourage everyone to, to just call, ask a question. If you can't, you know, figure it out or you're not familiar with a particular thing, just go ahead and ask that librarian. Everyone at the library is tremendously helpful and they want to have you participate in what you need or explore new ideas, especially now with school starting. Yeah. And I feel like school is going to be a little bit more challenging this year for everybody. And I feel like not only kids could use the help, but parents and some grandparents could use the help too. Right. So um, all of these things can, you know, you can reach out and get your resources at the library. I want to encourage everyone to go ahead and do that. Well, uh, really, there's just so much going on, as always, at the library. Um, Janine, anything else before we go? No, other than uh, our chat service, yeah, Lauren mentioned, um, we do have a chat service that we uh, it's available on, on the phlibrary.org front page of our website, and that's during 9 to 5 during the weekdays as well. So that's just still in operation. So people can ask a question for on the chat, and they'll be answered um, between those hours, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you, Janine, for being Thank here today. Thank you, Catherine, for making this uh, possible, too. We really appreciate it. And uh, we'll be Zooming for a while yet, it sounds like. So uh, next month, uh, we'll do another show that tells you everything that will be going on in the library in October. And you know there's going to be a lot. I hope that you'll take advantage of some of these great programs, both for youth and teen and adults and, and the whole community because there's a lot going on that you can do right thanks for watching us we'll see you next time at the library thanks bye for bye. having us sue see ya anytime